This is the new OnePlus Buds Pro 3 and I'll bring family and all into these videos but this is supposed to be the successor, the torch bearer, the dutiful son and that's because the OnePlus Buds Pro and the Pro 2 are such a great pair of earbuds. This on the other hand looks nothing like the father, it has some new features, some eccentric qualities so does it deserve the same respect? Flesh. This is Upesh, you're watching Silicon. It's time to hit that subscribe button, hit that bell icon because we're still kind of new here. And yeah, the first thing you'll notice about the new OnePlus Buds Pro 3 is that this looks like an entirely different product. I mean, just look at it. The shape, the texture, everything's new. The new oval shape is a big departure from the more rectangular-ish design of the OG Buds Pro. There's a new dual tone design now with the fall leather texture. It doesn't give you that soft feeling like some of the leather back on phones, but that apart, it does add a premium look to the Buds. I also like how OnePlus is engraved. You also get the Dynaudio branding and this does not skip on the pairing button and you get two LEDs, one for the battery and the other one for the pairing status. One new thing is you can flick open the case with just one hand now and the overall mechanism just feels much more solid, not something I could say for the older generations. Other than that, the case is handy, not heavy, not too big and it supports wireless charging but there's one thing. See, this opens up from this side where you have the OnePlus branding like this so you're expected to put it charged like this but actually this goes to wirelessly charge with the oneplus logo facing down which is strange maybe deal breaker nah the buds also have the premium look and feel the chrome has now extended to the top so yes a little bit of a fingerprint magnet there's the dyn audio branding and you get this new left and right indicators carved out of the body you also get this new pattern telling you where the touch controls are and you can feel it slightly while say changing the volume with the slide gesture. As for other controls, this has pinch or squeeze sort of style which I personally prefer a lot more, way more accurate compared to tap controls and yes, all of it is customizable. The buds are also IP55 rated and these are super comfortable. They fit in perfectly in the ear and they don't fall off even with the hardest headbangs. And in the box, you do get the extra ear tips along with the charging cable. The earbuds also have auto play pause support. So I love the controls, I love the quality, I like that they're super comfortable and these are available in this beige variant and a black one which I prefer more. But these are called the OnePlus Buds Pro because they are supposed to bring killer sound and the specs are definitely killer. It's got improved dual drivers along with dual DACs in each earbud, the Dyn Audio tuning and there's high-res audio support with LHDC. I know, sounds awesome, but how do these earbuds sound? See, the moment I started testing the OnePlus Buds Pro 3, what was really noticeable is that the sound is now more balanced, more premium. I mean, one of the complaints regarding the OnePlus Buds Pro and the Pro 2 was the sound was kind of bassy. These don't have that problem. I mean, these are just an overall improvement quality-wise. There's better balance of bass and treble, the higher frequencies are more pronounced, and all of this gives a very premium feel, and this is without the high-res mode. I did turn on the high-res mode and listen to some lossless tracks on Apple Music, and brings a volume boost, but more importantly, overall audio seems better, clearer with more depth, it's just really good. Maybe it's the improved drivers, maybe it's the Dyna Audio tuning, maybe it's the dual DACs, I don't know, but the point is, the bottom line here is good audio quality. You also get all the EQ options, all co-created with Dyna Audio or use a custom EQ. There's also Bass Wave, which boosts bass dynamically, no matter which EQ you're using. There's Golden Sound for personalized audio, which actually makes a nice difference. The Buds Pro 3 also have spatial audio with head tracking, and this time OnePlus is using the Google Spatial Audio tech, and it works well. As for noise cancellation, the ANC here is supposed to offer 50 decibels of noise cancellation, and it's very effective, cutting down a lot of intricate noises, especially at high, but at this setting, you do get a sort of studio effect if you're sitting in an already silent environment. It's the auto ANC option, aka the adaptive ANC that I think cuts down the noise while making things more comfortable. You also get the transparency mode, which is good to use, does not feel artificial, unlike a lot of earbuds. But one feature missing though is voice aware or you know conversation aware where the ANC automatically switches to transparency when you start talking. Yeah, that's kind of a miss. That apart, you get three mics in each earbud and the mic quality is better too compared to last gen. I mean, I found the mic to be great for calls indoors, but even when you're on the road in some noisy area, the mic does a really good job on cutting down the noise, which is great for TWS earbuds. When it comes to the battery, the OnePlus Buds Pro 3 compared to last gen have a bigger battery on the case but a slightly smaller battery on the buds. But on the flip side, OnePlus promises 10 hours of playback from these buds with ANC off compared to 9 hours on the last gen so the battery seems to have been optimized better and in my usage, the battery life was good. 
I got around 8 hours of battery life from the Buds and that was with the volume set to 80%, ANC turned off, so it's good and there's also fast charging support here if you're wondering. The OnePlus Buds 3 also pack in all the usual features, there's Google Fast Pair support, there's dual device switching which works really well seamlessly, no issues at all. You can use the pinch controls to take a photo like this. Another handy feature is that the native camera app on OnePlus phones lets you use the mics on these earbuds while recording a video. I also like the Zen mode air feature especially because these white noise audio files just sound really good on these buds. I also like that these earbuds let you monitor your neck health, shows you the pressure you're putting on your neck, the neck exercises you can do and more. And apart from this, you get the ear tip fit test, find my earbuds, you also get updates in the app, a game mode with 94ms of latency, which I know sounds okay, but I did play some games and I did not feel any lag in the audio, so no issues. Now, like I said at the start, the OnePlus Buds Pro series have been popular because they are the overall package of premium earbuds that perform really well. And the OnePlus Buds Pro 3 kind of takes that and makes it better. I mean, there are more features, the design is fresh, and more importantly, the sound has improved quite a bit. I mean, a voice away like feature would have been nice, but other than that, this is just great all around. Now, for everyone wondering about the price of these buds, I've pinned the price in the comment section down below. So check it out and let me know what you think of the new OnePlus Buds Pro 3. Comment down below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.